चलिए ये एक हो गई द नेक्स्ट वन सर उसके बाद जो रेलिवेंट ऑर्डर है सर वो नहीं लेट्स फिनिश द नंबर ऑफ केसेस दिस नंबर फोर यस सर नंबर फोर रिलेट्स दिस इज द वन विच ही मिस्टर कयूम सिद्दीकी पिटिशन लेट्स कॉल इट मिस्टर कयूम सिद्दीकी पिटिशन यस सर वॉट है दी अलेज हियर my lord he has alleged that uh, media that media personnel are being oppressed by state agencies agar is pe faisla ho jata to shayad aapko ye din nahi dekhna padte acha ye nahi bilkul aise hi hai to kamzori kiski thi it should have been proceeded with timely sir yani kiski kamzori thi और लोगों की भी कमजोरियां हैं जो लोग पीछे हट गए आप घबरा क्यों गए देखिए यू हैव टू बी यू हैव टू असिस्ट द कोर्ट मलोड Oh, you you said say I don't represent them because last date you agreed to do so. Yes, um, uh, your lordship. And media uh, was. Look, uh, this was very simple. You can't say today I want to challenge this thing. We had taken notice of it in the year 2021 when journalists came before the court. The very same journalists, incidentally, then they were being abducted. then they were being beaten up then they were being shot at i think that's slightly serious than receiving a notice from fia would you agree or no or is it equally serious it's certainly certainly more serious but i would imagine so so serious that is also serious in a different way no no it's not it's a diff okay if you're going to say that then you be little the seriousness by saying someone who's shot at or abducted is as threatened as a notice from a fire then we are making a mockery of the law at least if a fire is sending let's call it a completely illegal notice at least you can go and challenge a piece of paper in a court of law find the court may strike it down the court may not court may do any other thing but being shot at i would imagine right? would you prefer being shot at or would you prefer getting a piece of paper since you're saying the equally serious no no you you you, you, you in a different way no you see this is the manipulation no we're going to get the truth out of you well being shot at of course sir no no you, i don't know you can say you can say receiving a piece of paper is more serious than being shot at okay, or being abducted no no the, then don't then they, then don't be little it na देखिए देन देन वॉट इज हैपनिंग अ पर्सन हु ट्राइज टू स्टैंड अप फॉर मीडिया फ्रीडम लुक एट दिस लुक एट द ब्रॉडर पैरामीटर्स ऑफ इट हु वर द पीपल बिफोर अस वन हैड बीन किडनेप्ड वन हैड बीन बीटन अप इनको क्या हुआ था आई डोंट नो इमरान शफकत और इनको एफ आई आर रजिस्टर्ड अगेंस्ट था इनके इनको एफ आई ए ने एफ आई आर रजिस्टर किया थे सर एफ आई आर रजिस्टर किया था सर योर्स वॉज नॉट इवन एफ आई आर वेन यू केम इट वॉज जस्ट अ सिंपल नोटिस हेलो यू नो एफ आई आर स्टिल लेवल सीरियस इन अ नोटिस सो एंड आई नेवर अंडरस्टूड वन ऑफ द पर्सन हु वॉज बीट इन अप सेंग आई डोंट वॉन्ट बी पार्ट ऑफ दिस पिटिशन एनी मॉ सॉरी is that professional either you are a journalist you concerned about journalist freedom or you not you have to make up your mi- mind and then you make all sorts of statements the is a court a beneficiary in this taking up a notice uh, of journalist being harassed beaten up kidnapped <laughs> we are just enforcing fundamental rights and then the petition goes out of the radar nobody is bothered i mean even this is very strange even you when we take responsibility then then the allegations start it's very regrettable making allegations without having the courage to say them in court without having the courage to write them on a piece of paper because you can say anything on the media आजाद है मीडिया भाई ठीक है आजाद है हमने तो कुछ नहीं उनको मना किया है आजादी दिखाए अच्छा पांचवें नंबर वाली पिटिशन बताएं वो किसने फाइल की है 
CP27. Uh, uh, in the, in, there, is, there is one we've dis uh, dealt with. Now comes 22. 25. Can I first clarify who I am? No, SMC5. SMC4 and SMC5, Sati, yes, sir. Is the same issue? Yes, same issue. Uh -huh. No, but who's filed 5? Not filed. Application. Journalist Defense Committee. Is that so? But this was done by the court itself. SMC5. Case for you, sir. Why 2 and why not 1? Hey, there were two FIRs, one, one, two, seven, one, two, eight, so we team run, Shafkat and... Uh, uh. See SMC5, I, I'm just trying to... Uh, SMC5 was taken on the application moved by two journalists, Mr. Amir Meer and Mr. Imran Shafkat. Pursuant to registration of FIRs against them and the note of the... Acting Chief Justice, Honorable Acting Chief Justice. Ajay, this was another one. Yes. Okay. Ajay, ye do this is SMC5. W number three, kya hai? Sir, CP27 of 2022. 27 of? 2022. 2022. This is Mr. Heather. Mr. Mr. Heather, uh, Mr. Heather Vahid, these are all public interest matters. So just tell us what is 27 of 2022. Who do you represent? Who, who are you? First of all, step, who, who are you? Who are you? Can you tell us who you are? Where is file? Mere ab, maine baat kya rakhi thi? Alag kya khol kya? File it. No, 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 no! Don't, 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 don't tell us who they are. Who Sayyid Ibn Hassan? So I believe he's a lawyer. No. You believe? Have you met any of them? Have you met any of them? No, how come all these people came together? One is in Chakwal, one, two, three, three are in Chakwal. Are you understanding or not? Yeah, I'm, I'm asking you. Did they come to your office or you went to Chakwal? No, sir. I said, Which lawyer? Which, which, who, who called you to engage you? Number five. Number five. Who's he? The lawyer, uh, advocate, high court, supreme court, what is he? Okay, we are now ascertaining your bona fides. Okay, because we have doubts about this petition. So, no, no, pata nahi kar rahe na, hume pata, hum jab case karte the to hum kam se kam client se mil lete the pehle. Is that cheap baat hai ki aap phone pe logon se mil lete hain. Bhai, aap kamal kar rahe hain, Heather Vahid sahab, you have invoked the constitutional jurisdiction of the Supreme Court. Just, if you take it as a joke, I mean, uh, and you say you've not met any of these persons. No. Mr. Salauddin Ahmed, what do you have to say? 
Do you, what do you have to say? What can I say about this? You, 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 today you're not saying anything. You're usually very articulate. His clients, uh, what can I say about it? His as alleged clients. Prayer, as far as the prayer in the petition is concerned, I have, and grounds taken it, uh, in it, I have some reservations. But, Baki, uh, Sir, I can't. But, Baradri, one is here, Sir, Laudin, sir. Lord, I'm not engaged in that petition. What can I say? <laughs> no, 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 because the, his petition, in a way, comes in the way of your petition. Have you read his petition? Wait, first of all, uh, Mr. Heather, we are not asking you to argue the case. We are just trying to ascertain who you are. The petition does not have a signatory of anybody. You mujhe dijiye satais ki file. I'm going to use the Supreme Court for some ulterior motives. Then we'll tell you, we'll go like this. No, we won't give you time. What will you give us? What will you give us? You have to come to us. We won't give you time. Sir, you have to come to us. There is no affidavit. Affidavit is filed by the AOR. There is no signature on the petition. Mr. Heather, Mr. Mr. Heather Waid, you are far too clever and senior that we would say anything like that. But please see the array of petitioners. One is an IG of police. One is a retired cabinet, joint cabinet secretary. One is, and there one is based in Lahore. One is based in Islamabad. One, two, three are based in Chakwal. One is an advocate. It's a very strange group of people coming together. Perhaps, perhaps, but I will never come together. Don't be so defensive. We have never suggested you got them together. So why are you so defensive? We just want to know their bona fides. There is no affidavit. There is nothing about them. It, I mean, it just raises doubts because the petition here is for media freedom and here you're talking about media regulation. So it's in a way at odds. And then you want your case to be delisted from there. Why? Please, 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 no, 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 please, please, please don't do this. Again, you're doing this. We're not even hearing your merits. Don't, don't go there. Now read order dated 6-10-2022. पढ़िए छह दस का छोटा सा ऑर्डर है हम आपके लिए पढ़ने हैं 
6th October 2022. Okay, we'll read it for your benefit. Mr. Heather Wahid. The questions raised in this constitutional petition are already being examined by this court in Sumoto case number 5 of 2021. It would therefore be appropriate if this matter is listed along with the said matter for a comprehensive examination of the relevant articles of the Constitution of Pakistan. Let notice be issued to the Attorney General of Pakistan as well as the respondents for a date in office. It was on your request that the matter was listed. Now you want it delisted without... Can you please, can you please have the patience to hear us out? You have moved an application, CMA number 1865 of 2024, wherein you say that this should be delisted. So now you use another word. I think you've been traveling on the motorway a lot. So using the word tag. Now please read your application. Where do you where do you where do you disclose the order dated 6th October 2022, which was passed and it was tagged? Your language. They are please please uh, stay focused, Mister. Uh, if this court is, they can't. We won't allow this court to be used. And this is a clear case of the court being used. First, you get it tagged. Your language. We don't use the word tagged in the Supreme Court. And then you move an application, you don't seek a review of the order, you move an application after three years, suddenly you've woken up on 9th of March 2024 that you want this, this, the fact that you don't, haven't met any of the petitioners, the fact that the petitioners are, are, are somewhat connected with the government, the then government, raises serious questions on the bona fides of the petitioner. I, 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 of course they won't be interested in the petition now after these observations. Probably next thing coming out of your mouth will be I'll withdraw this petition. Anyway, they don't, as far as we're concerned, you take responsibility. Or the OR takes responsibility, I don't know. But there, but if there may be very good constitutional questions, then why are you running away from the court? Having got the two cases put together, then why are you running away? We'll hear you also with your great constitutional questions. Now don't say this. We've just read out the order dated 6th of October where it is specifically mentioned and you're saying, Mujhe pata hi nahi tha. Yeah, uh, Mr. Heather, let's use language of the court. Tagging is not a language of the court. Whatever you, but please, let's at least, so we will, so your petition we are observing is very doubtful. So, you can assist it, you can show your credibility, you can show your credibility. We are not going to hear your constitution points unless we are uh, clear on bona fide. 184 is very clear. Anybody coming to court has to, unless you say bona fide is immaterial, clean hands are immaterial. Then, yes, you are invoking the 184 jurisdiction of the Supreme Court. You can't just say very good constitutional questions. I can try, uh, drop very good constitution questions in many cases. But what, what, what are you trying to achieve? You, I want to see that. Are you actually interested in ensuring freedom of the press or uh, you have some other agenda? We forget them, no? we'll ask the government, we'll be asking you at the moment.
بھائی نہیں ہو آپ جا رہے ہیں ادھر آپ تھوڑی دیر وہیں چلے جائیں گے وہیں سے مسٹر سلاؤدین از کیپ اسمائلنگ آئی ڈونٹ نو وائی ہی از اسمائلنگ سو مچ ٹوڈے پاکستان پریس کاؤنسل پیمرا censorship of film rules, contempt, defamation, official secrets act, etc, etc, and goes up to 11 laws. So you should have never agreed to the clubbing of the two petitions. Actually, you're both saying the same thing, but in two different, from two different perspectives. حیدر صاحب آپ کے لیے مفت مشورہ آئندہ اپنے کلائنٹ سے ملاقات کر لیا کریں مطلب یہ جنرل بات ہے آج کی بات نہیں ہے کیسی ہاں ان کا بھی قصور ہے یہ دیکھیں یہ یہ چودھری صاحب نے آپ کو زبردستی اس میں جوائن کر دیا جی کیا چلے تو دس از ڈاؤٹفل اور کوئی پٹیشن ہے آپ کی پٹیشن کا نمبر کیا اچھا یور از فور ایز ویل انسیڈنٹلی دیکھیے وہ پہلا والا فور ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی ون کا فیصلہ ہو جاتا ہے تو شاید آپ کھڑے نہیں ہوتے ہمارے سامنے ٹھیک ہے اچھا ناؤ واٹ از یور گریونس کین وی ڈاؤن ناؤ نیرو ایٹ آل ڈاؤن اینڈ واٹس آف آرڈر یو لکنگ سر پرسونٹ ٹو یور لارڈ شپس لاسٹ آرڈر فرسٹ ایف آئی مے کلیریفائی ہو ایم اپیئرنگ فور ون از فار دا پریس ایسوسی ایشن آف دا سپریم کورٹ اینڈ ساکب بشیر آن بہاف آف دا اسلام آباد ہائی کورٹ جرنلسٹ ایسوسی ایشن دے گریونس از ان ریلیشن ٹو دی ایف آئی اے انکوائری دیٹ واز انیشیٹیڈ اینڈ دا نوٹس از دیٹ وار ڈن اینڈ دا جے آئی ٹی دیٹ واز فارم دی ادرس پرسون ٹو دی آبزرویشن آف یور لارڈ شپس آن دا لاسٹ اسٹیٹ ریلیٹنگ ٹو دی ارلیئر سو موٹو کیس نمبر فور اس میں یور لارڈ شپ ول ریکال پولیس سے رپورٹ منگوائی گئی تھی اور ایف آئی اے سے اینڈ یور لارڈ شپ ہیڈ آسک می ٹو سی ایف دوز reporters were uh, journalists were wanted to be represented i am currently representing uh, mr absar alam uh, mr matiullah jan and mr imran shafkat um in mr uh, matiullah jan and mr um, absar alam's cases are quite similar in as much as one was kidnapped the other was shot and the police investigation is in question uh, the other case of imran shafkat that is a case of the fia um, um, registering an fir against him so for, that basically for, tied, what is ties the, into, no no what is the allegation my lord i have to right now i don't have his uh, complete case record with me i've not been able to get it i talked to him day before yesterday and uh, his case record is not come available no, no, but, what, but you would know the nature of the fir what Ji, is it uh, sir wo pika ke offenses the sir it, when was this Achha. recently old this fir was registered on 7th of august 2021 regarding my lord certain offenses were alleged under pika and uh, penal code he he uh, hmm. uh, mr imran yeah hukumat kis ki thi uh, it was uh, yes it was mr. mr imran khan's government sir acha okay yes. and uh, so he uh, he he runs his uh, program on no, is it case pending against him is closed sir, what is uh, in this case chalan has been filed before the trial court saying what exonerating or implicating him or what implicating him uh, for my lord for these offenses and say what is the nature of the offense don't quote us the, a section say he did this my lord uh, offenses actually apne vlogs ke andar unhone kaha ke ji aapne uh, kuch 
ریاستی اداروں اور عہدیداروں کے بارے میں کریکٹ کرنا چاہتا ہوں ولاگ آئی find it hard to pronounce i know what it is but i just find it hard to <laughs> blog is easier but blog is something just doesn't come ji chale ji nahi what is the nature of the sir ye pooch le na puri fir aapke piche khadi hai na ji ji nahi ye mere mere samne ye fir bhi hai so unhone kuch apne jo blog ke andar kuch program kiye hai jisme unhone kuch riyasati idaron aur aur ohdedar اور ان کے بارے میں دیکھیے بات کر رہے ہیں ہم بھی جانتے ہیں ایف آئی آر کیسی ہوتی ہیں کوئی سبسٹینشیل اوفینس ہے یا بس ایسی تنگ کرنے والا اوفینس ہے بائی لارڈ ان آل فیئرنیس بھائی یو آر ناٹ ریسپانسبل وائی یو سو ہیسیٹنٹ لیڈی آئی ایم ناٹ یہ کہہ رہا ہوں کہ واز اے ڈفرنٹ ایج اٹ واز اے ڈفرنٹ گورنمنٹ بٹ پیپل ڈونٹ پیپل ڈونٹ ریمبر ہسٹری دے وانٹ اونلی ٹو ڈے دے ڈونٹ وانٹ ٹو ریمبر یس ٹو ڈے اینڈ دے ڈونٹ وانٹ ٹو پلان فار دا فیوچر ایسا کچھ ہے نہیں اس کے اندر جس کو یہ کہا جائے کہ سیکشن ہو سکتا ہے جو فینس جو آپ پوچھ لیں فائیو سے آدھ انٹرسٹیڈ ان پرسوئنگ دس تین سال تو گزار لیے اکیس بائیس تیئیس چوبیس بائی لارڈ or you can keep it pending to pull his chain whenever you want to no, no. if that's uh, your objective no it can't be uh, it can't be or it isn't it isn't and it can't be it can't be i can say but uh, for you it isn't either sir g it isn't either uh, now that because the chalan is before the trial court if he moves an application or to he won't move a. anything i'm asking the state g is it a criminal offense mr imran shafkat has committed i'm not asking mr imran shafkat i'm asking the state my lord uh, in my opinion no So, uh, is the FIA withdrawing the case? My Lord, FIA at the moment now because they have... They, you, they come the under you. They'll move an application before the trial court. Saladin sir, you have filed a petition and the case is over. Now I'm going to get to IG. She's very kind. <laughs> Such quick relief, very few will get. But what I'll be requesting for the main petitioner in my case is, sir, that the parameters of FIA's jurisdiction... Yeah, yeah, we are, actually, that's where we wanted to go to. Yeah. So, okay. Now, can we go to there? And, who, and who's this lady standing next to you? Any you are with her? No, I believe she has her own petition. Okay. Who is she? The mayor. Um, I'm a journalist um, based in Karachi. I filed a petition on the 14th of February. What do you want? It's related to the JIT, the FIA notices, coercive action by the FIA. Okay, okay, okay. Then so. you are well represented by Mr. Salaudin Ahmed. If I may, I would, I'm appearing in person. My petition is pending before the committee. It was filed on the 14th of But February. Are you saying anything different to I what? I am. So can, you, also, can you just wait a second? Yes. At least hear the question. Is it he is advocating the same thing, Mr. Salaudin Ahmed? So do you, you don't think he was able to do so? No, he is very able. So, so what, at any, any new point, let us hear him. Yes. And if there is some point which is he has left out, you can tell us. Because he's a, he's a senior lawyer of the court. He will be able to assist us better. Yes, if I may, after him, please. Sir. Okay. Thank you. Uh, for Don't this. repeat anything if there is something new to be added. Yes. Gee. To the extent of SMC5, there was another journalist against whom an FIR was issued, registered, Mr. Amir Meer. Uh, I have the same statement which I have made in relation to Mr. Imran Shafkat with respect to his FIR also. We'll record your statement. My Lord. And uh, FIA will move an appropriate application. In Whatever they also. do, that's, we are recording your statement in presence of the FIA. My Lord. Okay. My Lord, as far as what you're saying. You know I don't interfere in other people's work because we are recording your statement. Ji. Would your Lordship like to take up uh, the FIA issue first or the issue of the police reports regarding uh, Matiullah Jan and Afsan Alam? Uh, 
I, I, we are more concerned with the legal issue uh, because you know each individual case will we will spend a lot of time on it. But if you want to do it that way, it's up to you. But I thought it's better to go the legal route first. Okay, sir. The con let's start with the constitution, Thick. the law, the subordinate legislation. Thick, sir. Uh, unless you have a preference. No, no, I'll start that way, sir. Because, you know, then it becomes person specific. Thick. And I don't know if it is then within the ambit of 184.3. Because public interest as a whole of journalism is. But when individual cases I don't know, they may have other reliefs under 199, whether 184.3 would be attracted. What is your opinion? My Lord, my submission is that when there is a pattern of That's what I'm saying, pattern. When there's a pattern of extrajudicial violence against journalists, in that case, then it becomes public importance. And in that case, in the exercise of that public importance matter in the uh, jurisdiction, your Lordships may sometimes have to pass specific uh, directions in order to ensure that uh, such actions don't happen again. So, to that extent, it may become relevant. Thick. Please proceed in your own Please. way. Aapko baitne, tashif rakhe. Ye log bhi baita sakne hain. Ji. My Lord, if your Lordship will turn to CP 4 of 2024. <coughs> the first action that happened, sir, was on the 16th of January, that is at page 13. So can we go the law route you said? No? Yes, sir. <laughs> sir, I want to, I want to show how Mr. the S FIA... Mr. Salauddin, I think we have covered that bridge. Yes, when notice was taken by this court, there was a pattern already in existence. Yes. yes so I don't think nobody, unless the Attorney General is also conceding that he is not saying anything, contrary to that on the maintainability of the petition. Are you questioning the maintainability of the petition? My Lord, uh, as far as this petition, no, I'm not. And uh, but, but naturally, individual cases. Yeah. So I don't. I think we've covered the maintainability aspect. Uh, I think uh, the very first order had addressed the question Please. of maintainability. So let's not waste time My on Lord. that. Let's go to: Is there a solution? There isn't. What's the way forward? My Lord, my submission was, and the petition is basically about. Uh, when and the FIA has been di doing this for a while that whenever journalists or even non-journalists on social media etc they publish something which is not acceptable to FIA FIA immediately files an FIR under the Prevention of Electronic Crimes Act either they file an FIR or they just start an inquiry and as your lordship knows that under the FIA Act at least even after launching an inquiry FIA has the power of arrest they use that as a sword to dangle over the uh, persons making the publication and they have been doing it repeatedly sometimes after doing it they they then come and they say okay now we are withdrawing it but the chilling effect remains upon uh, the media uh, as well mr salaudin again we i'll have to interrupt can i prevent an fir to be registered against me in any police station in pakistan no sir it may be misuse of the law that's a different thing altogether so I mean, you know, that will turn on the case-to-case -case basis. And if I do so, tomorrow someone will say, oh, he's the Chief Justice, so he's done so. So, <laughs> I can't even prevent it. So, <laughs> let's, let's look at the... Uh, we know what's happened in Pakistan. You want a whole history, you can read... Uh, very, books have been written by the media about what has happened to the press. So, let's look at the larger picture. Well, if somebody is misusing the law, I mean, they can register some case against you saying you've done someone's chicken you've stolen wherever in Gwadar or who's, who My can Lord, stop there, you? There is, there is one particular section that is used again and again, which is abused again and Wo again. Batayye. And that is section 20 huh? of the Prevention of Electronic Crimes Act. I thought you would start from the Constitution and go downwards. My Lord, uh, Article 19 is... So let's uh, go from the beginning. Sorry. It's always... 
That's what governs us all. Every citizen shall have the right to freedom of speech and expression and there shall be freedom of the press subject to any reasonable restrictions imposed by law in the interest of glory of Islam or the integrity, security or defense of Pakistan or any part thereof, friendly relations with foreign states, public order, decency or morality or in relation to contempt of court, commission of or incitement to an offense. So there is Article 19 and then Article 19A, which is a concomitant right. Every citizen shall have the right to have access to information in all matters of public importance, subject to regulation and reasonable restrictions imposed by law. Now, my Lord, as far as Article 19 is concerned, the, as your Lordship is aware, there is a twofold test. First of all, it must link with the objects. If, if a restriction is to be imposed under Article 19, in order to be permissible under Article 19, it must relate with the objects mentioned therein, the glory of Islam, integrity, so on and so forth. Now, apart from that, the second test is that it must be reasonable. And it is one of the if the restriction imposed, even if it is imposed by law for one of those six objects, even then, if it is unreasonable, it will fall afoul of Article 19 and may be struck down. So it is one of the situations where this court can strike down legislation for being an unreasonable restriction, as opposed to the ordinary rule of deference. G. Now, what has happened, if your Lordship sees, my Lord, in the Prevention of Electronic Crimes Act, they have... No, first tell us the full name. Let's go step by step. Ji, sir. The Prevention of Electronic... You, you have the advantage of Pakistan seeing you. It's a public interest matter. So let it also be educational for everybody. Ji, sir. You sir, have no problem with that, I hope. No, no, sir. Uh, Sir, so the Prevention of Electronic Crimes Act 2016. Mm. G now, mm. if your Lordship sees the offences under the Act, they start from Section 3. And they go on to section 26. Which do you think offends Article 19? My Lord, my case is, uh, as far as section 20 is concerned, a scheme within the FIA, uh, within the Prevention of Electronic Crimes Act itself, that it places offenses on two levels. It makes some of the offenses, which are the more serious offenses, cognizable, in which the FIA can investigate of its own accord and arrest without permission. And then it places a lower category of offences which are not cognizable. They require a complaint to be filed which by the, the agreed person. Which are the cognizable ones? Ji, sir. The cognizable offences are mentioned in section 43. All 
offences under this Act, except the offences under Sections 10, 21, and 22, and abetment thereof shall be non-cognizable, bailable, and compoundable, provided that offences under Section 17 shall be cognizable by the investigation agency on a written complaint by the authority, offences under 10, 21, and 22, and abetment thereof shall be non-bailable, non-compoundable, and cognizable by the investigation agency. Now, if your Lordship will turn to 10, 21, and 22, and 17. is cyber terrorism. But just to save time, why don't you just tell us which is, in your opinion, violative of Article 19? Lord, my submission is that the manner in which Article 20, uh, the Section 20 is used, that falls afoul of Article 19. Section if, 20. Section 20. Can we read 20 then? Yes, sir. Whoever intentionally and publicly exhibits or displays or transmits any information through any information system which he knows to be false and intimidates or harms the reputation or privacy of a natural person. And this is often abuse or intimidation of uh, uh, institutions goes me layate, but shall be punished with imprisonment for a term which may extend to three years or with fine which may extend to one million rupees or with both. Are you so, saying their application or their interpretation or their understanding is contrary to the law, or are you saying the law is ultra vires the constitution? My lord, as far there are two arguments here. One, the application that FIA does routinely is contrary to the language of Section 20 because karte ye hai, sir, ke, aur no, is no, case mein bhi ye no, no, hai. Then, then you can't fault the law. You can fault the application of the law. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that, that is the that first. Is, that's a different yes, point. Yes, uh, yes. The, as far as the law is concerned. So you are saying its application is used for ulterior purposes. Yes, sir. Because although it is a non-cognizable offence, it requires an aggrieved person to make a complaint before the magistrate. FIA treats it as a directly cognizable offence. It arrests people on offences that can at best or inquiries... Where does it say it has to be before a magistrate? Which is that provision? Sir, it is a non-cognizable offence. Okay. That is under the CRPC itself, non-cognizable offences. Then if your Lordship will see, Section 29.2. That makes the criminal procedure code applicable. And then if your Lordship will see the rules itself, ye hai prevention of electronic crimes investigation rules 2018. Mm. Ji. Isme, sir. If your Lordship sees Rule 7, 5. In case of a non-cognizable offence under the Act, the circle in charge shall seek... Uh, 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 which rule? Rule 7, sub-rule 5. G. 4 or 5, if you look at both, sir. G. Rule 7. Sub-rule 4 and sub-rule 5. G. In case a cognizable offence has been committed under the Act, the circle in charge after seeking legal opinion shall order registration of such case subject to prior approval of additional director in the zone. B, uh, five, in case of a non-cognizable offence under the Act, the circle in charge shall seek permission of the competent court for investigation under section 155 of the code. Isn't this ample safeguard? It is not followed in any case. No, that We'll come, that's a secondary question. First of all, you have to say this is ample safeguard if followed. Yes. Sir. Or you say, no, it's not. 
If followed, yes. If followed, yes. There is a second argument, though, regarding the law itself no, no, that I put. Well, but that, uh, on this argument, no, yes, that, that is. That makes our job very easy. Yes, sir. We can say, stress it. Yes, sir. That it must be followed in each and every case. Yes, sir. So that is over. Because what uh -huh. happens is, and no, no. that is why I was, I was Salaudi, pointing like to the I said, nobody can stop anyone Jee, from sir. doing I mean, you know, uh, one is the law itself. One is misuse of the law. Or trying to do things which the law does not permit. Like, for instance, if you file a false FIR, you can be pros criminally prosecuted. How many criminal prosecutions happen in Pakistan? Yes, sir. Very few, sir. It's a criminal offense. And yes, then sir. you can also sue for damages also. Yes, sir. It doesn't happen. Huh? But the reason we are so seeking... They, and no, no. Yeah. It doesn't happen, so they get away with it. Like, you say the same thing, go and say it in the UK. You'll be financially wiped out because yes. of the damages. Yeah, you earn money for sometimes you just say things, okay, I get more viewership, I get more controversial. The more controversial, the better the bookseller. <laughs> yes. So so we will we I want to most focus on the illegal ultra vires aspects of the law, if any. Sir. Because there is also a judgment, I think, of uh, Islamabad High Court, court. Sir. I yes. think you'll come to that. It's a, it's a short order, yes. Uh, the detailed judgment. Now they, uh, we have one difficulty. Uh, there's another... <laughs> I, I didn't realize they're clashing benches together today. There's a five-member bench. Six. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Six. Six-member six bench, my brother corrects me. That takes priority. So when do you want it? Sir, if it can be um, later this week, sir. Thursday, Friday. Tomorrow? Sir, tomorrow, not today. Tomorrow, I have to. Huh? But tomorrow will be difficult for me, sir. I have a matter that. Where? Sir, it is in the Sin High Court, but it is a part heard and. Uh, so you'll go it, there. Yes, sir. Of uh, ke Monday, na? What about Wednesday? Wednesday? Okay, sir. Will you be able to come back? Uh, Thursday, agar rakhen, sir, agar Thursday. Thursday, no, Thursday we have that other case uh, review, G. Friday, sir, or, uh, or next week. Can't you continue tomorrow? Uh, sir, if video link, se phir de de, sir. It's not the same. It's really not the same. And, uh, you know, I can't hear you, or you can't hear us, or there's overlap always. So how urgent is uh, sir? Uh, yeah, Wednesday. Agar Wednesday hai, to no, no, Wednesday. I, we were thinking of. The, I didn't realize this bench. Abhi abhi pata nahi wo date usme kya padti hai. So you are saying this week is not convenient. Agar next week ho jaye to. Unless somebody else we can hear on this side, or you are the only counsel. My lord. Uh... As okay. counsel, I'm the only one. Uh, huh? Perhaps uh, no, no, Ms. Fariha. No, 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 no. We hmm. won't allow that. Hmm. Uh, you can ask her, and we can certainly take on board. Otherwise, we'll have to hear everybody, which case will ever get decided. Hmm. Sir, if Wednesday is possible, I'll. Uh, if, uh, Wednesday, okay. Okay. Chale Wednesday, rakh lete. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Only request that my petition be clubbed and heard with these. Actually, it's no longer that simple. It, everything goes to the committee now. It's been there for a month and a half, and I did put the request to club it with these petitions. I attached the orders It doesn't well. happen. Uh, okay, if he's going to say the same thing, then let him say it. If you have something special, you can tell Mr. Salaudi Nama these. So but Lord, I think perhaps on the technical sides of things, as she is a journalist. Yeah, we will uh, not go down yeah. that level. We are going to stay in the level of law and constitution. We're not going to say this happens and that happens. I wish to yeah. argue about the law and the constitution. I have followed the procedure. It is before the committee. Chale, I, we'll have a look. Uh, if the commi committee decides when it meets, generally we meet on Thursdays, generally, but it's changeable. So, then we Wednesday. Ka kar Thanks. Thanks. Grateful, sir. May I make a submission? I would like to file a statement on, I would like to file a statement on the court. Being a vice you the mic. Pe. Sir, I would like to file a statement as a vice chairman of the Bar Council in the, in the instant matter. I may be allowed to... By, by all means, you are supporting Mr. Sraudin, opposing... Su what is your su su supporting, Lordship. Huh? Supporting. 
अच्छा ओके डू यू हैव एनी ऑब्जेक्शन बट इफ यू फाइलिंग समथिंग देन यू हैव टू डू इट इन द ऑफिस आज वी आर जर्निंग एंड गिव देम कॉपीज ऑल्सो सो दे कैन ऑल्सो सी इट ठीक है थैंक यू सो बाय ऑल मींस फाइल इट इसमें लिखिए Mr. Kayum Siddiqui, is he representing you? No, sir. Is Mr. Salauddin Ahmed representing you? No, sir. Okay, because he's taken away Mr. Imran Shafkat from you and Mr. Amir Mir. Not Amir Mir, sir. Uh, okay. Absar Alam, Absar Alam, and Matiullah Jan. Okay. Okay. Chale. So, okay. इसमें लिखिए आमिर मीर साहब के जहांगीर जदून साहब पेश होते हैं वाले वो तो नहीं है ओके आपका स्टेटमेंट हम लिख लें यस यस इसमें लिखिए डू यू नो द एफ एफ आई आर नंबर वन टू सेवन ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी इज मिस्टर आमिर मीर रजिस्टर्ड एट विच पुलिस स्टेशन फाइ लाहौर साइबर क्राइम Wing circle, cyber crime circle. ये ये किस जगह मिलेगी हमें? ये सर, they are part of CMS two four eight eight. नहीं वाली. Two four eight eight sir. FIR one two seven is at page five. This is Mr. Amir Mirs and FIR one two eight is at page eleven. Page, page five, sir. Page five and page eleven are the two FIRs. This will be learned attorney general of Pakistan has filed today. You file CMA number two four eight eight and two four nine zero, sir. What happened to eight nine? Two four. Sorry, 2488 were filed by me and uh, 2489 is filed by. Your Lordship, अगर इजाजत हो तो एक और इशू भी आपके That FIR number one two seven oblique twenty twenty one. Registered at FIA Cyber Crime Wing. FIA Cyber Crime Wing, Lahore. On seven August twenty twenty one. Against. Mr. Naam kahan likha? Uh, sir, uh, it's uh, in the eighth or ninth line, line at the bottom, to, from the bottom, sir. Registered by the state against Mr. Amir Mir. Mr. Amir Mir. Amir Mir. Yes. Under sections eleven, comma thirteen. कितने सेक्शन लगाएं अंडर सेक्शन इलेवन कॉमर थर्टीन कॉमर ट्वेंटी एंड ट्वेंटी फोर ऑफ द पाकिस्तान इलेक्ट्रॉनिक क्राइम्स एक्ट कॉमर टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन रेड विद सेक्शन फोर सिक्स नाइन कॉमर फाइव हंड्रेड कॉमर फाइव जीरो फाइव एंड फाइव जीरो नाइन ऑफ द पाकिस्तान पीनल कोड वर रजिस्टर्ड under a previous government and the government and fi and the government and the federal government is not kya what is the language you want to use we'll use your your words i know the uh, the the fi does not will not uh, pursue does not wish to pursue and, this matter and in his opinion case is not made out kya likhe case is not made out and in his opinion is your opinion and in his opinion the case was not made out and fi 
will not be pursuing them will be closing close kehte what's the technical no, word no now fi will be moving an appropriate application before the trial court uh, and fi closure of them will uh, be moving an appropriate application for closure of the said case against mr amir meer amir meer Who's talking? Dusra. He has also referred to the next one is page eleven, sir. FIR number one two eight of twenty twenty one against Mr. Imran Shafkat. अच्छा ये मेरे ख्याल में आप यहाँ से देख लेना. Also dated. All the particulars. ये ग्यारह नंबर से वो ही चीज़ें लिख देना इधर. इसका भी वो ही लिख देना. ठीक है ये तो दो हो गए. ये इतने से पढ़ा. These two are done. Yes, my lord. अच्छा. Uh, जी आ, आप क्या बता रहे हैं सब ये बताना था कि रिजवान रजी को भी आप इफ यू रिमेम्बर उठा लिया गया था हथकड़ियां लगा के फिर ये एफ आई ए वाले उनकी तस्वीर जो है वो वायरल करते हैं जर्नलिस्टों की तो उसके बाद हाई कोर्ट में भी उनका रिजवान रजी का एक केस है उस पर स्टे भी हुआ बल्कि हमारे कागज नहीं है तो हम कुछ नहीं कर सकते ना आप इनको बता दीजिए इनको ही वोट नो इवन इफ यू जस्ट टेल इम लाइक दिस ही विल नीड टू नेचुरली फाइंड आउट अबाउट इट दिस तो इज फाइल रिपोर्ट सो ही नोज अबाउट दैम अच्छा इसमें लिखिए वी कमेंस्ड हेयरिंग मिस्टर सलाउद्दीन अहमद हाउ एवर इन व्यू ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट देर इज अ लार्जर बेंच एट इलेवन थर्टी द मैटर इज अ जर्न टू टूमोरो डे आफ्टर परसों की तारीख डाल दीजिए हाँ डी ऑन्ट अ टाइम स्पे I mean, if you're catching a morning flight, we can do the rest of the 11:30 board. Eleven thirty would be best, sir. Eleven thirty huh? would be best. If I, I, I don't want to do it because I don't want. I don't know what that bench may have to give the conflicting time. So, but we will accommodate you. Uh, if you're not here, we will wait for you. Grateful, sir. ठीक है. Time नहीं रखिए. ठीक है. आप इनको बता दीजिए एनीथिंग एल्स ये आपको कुछ फाइल करना है आप फाइल कर दीजिए योर लॉर्ड शिप आई एल बी रिप्रेजेंटिंग आर आई यू जे एंड पी एफ यू जे उसमें हम इंटरवीन इंटरवीनर के तौर पे आ रहे हैं लास्ट डेट ऑफ लास्ट डेट पर कोर्ट ने अलाउ किया था तो वी विल फाइल अप्रोप्रिएट एप्लीकेशन for their inclusion in this case so why are you saying this and why don't you just file it mujhe <laughs> waiting for some invitation mujhe raat ko unhone kaha hai to i will be filing kal kar bilkul aap kare kare kaun mana kar raha hai aapko please case khatam ho jayega fir aap na kahiyega we will assist mr salam fir aap kahiyega ki mujhe to suna hi nahi no way no chale okay to kuch aur reh gaya tha acha 